is only Africa. So this is truly Africa. Mm -hmm. This is the every uh, rock art. And this is before history. So the history makes the rock arts. As we speak, the biggest engraving art is this one, the Giro. That's from the west part of, of Africa and Niger. This is the man of the place that received a millions of visitors only here. But be back in Africa. Uh, Africa, we have more than 55 countries. And each here, we have more than 30 African countries with different artwork. And as we speak, we mean that it's from 12,000 years ago to 6,000 years ago. And Africa is the only continent that has the oldest rock arts and rock engravings. So, so far, here, through these rock arts, we understand different uh, period of time. For instance, we understand the pastoralist, the hunters and gathering, and the Bantu speaking people. So through, uh, how do we understand the hunters and gather? They were using animal blood by paintings within the rocks. But the uh, pastoralists, they were using the egg shell. They were breeding them together in form of flower and start painting with the blue. This one, the white. So the material they were using the eggshells after grinding them together. But the Bantu speaking people also are this one that show as the humans. As we speak, we are here in Tanzania, most of the Bantu speaking people they are migrated from the West Africa. From West Africa to different parts of Africa. And this now, as Tanzania, we have different areas that have the evidence of the rock arts. And the famous rock arts and the man which is under the World Heritage site is Kondoa Rock Art. Here we go. This is the Kondoa Rock Art. And through the rock arts, within the rocks, is where we understand that Africa, we had our own gods. We worship under the big tree, we worship under the caves. So within the caves, we had the findings, which are those rock arts and paintings. And now, in the central part of Tanzania, that's Kondoa in Kondoa, <coughs> we have this one. This present female, due to the hairstyle. Here she's a good example. The hairstyle like Rasta is, you know, female, they are busy making their hairs. And these are the males. We are no longer busy making our hairs in different ways. But this one here, this is the means of uh, communication. How to give the communications within the community. If there is anything that's happening within the, within the community, they are using the cow homes, giving information or alerts. Right now we can say a trumpet, the modern one. So the trumpet has been dried in the form how things was back in time. But apart from that, as the museum, we have created something like a rock. If you have never been, you can just get in and enjoy it and have a real sense of the rock. So we are now within the cave. So these are fabric material with different uh, glue and different materials that were added to make it harder as it is. So all of these paintings are from different parts of Africa. Can you move to that side? 
But also here, before we move, we have the brainstorming. The wheel of chair, brainstorming. The, okay. Okay. Come the wheel of body. knowledge, all right? Yeah, that, that, this is the wheel of knowledge. So all of these are the row cards from uh, Africa. I've so selected my yeah. brother to mention when it is tops. Yes. Uh, At the bottom. Yes. Uh, Where? Uh, I want you to mention. Where this? It's very easy. You just go to the answer paper. Yeah, let's go there. So these are the answers. <laughs> what do you see in the image? The fighting birds. But also where? In Libya. Okay. Libya. Oh, okay. When was the art drawn? 12,000 years ago. And you can go very easily. You either choose this piece one here. Where is the, uh, what does it represent? The constricted sequence. But also, where does it begin? When was it born from 1,000 to 4,000 years ago? So, something is going to be a good idea. In 